thought I'd do a quick video um, looking at the new CoinOps collections um, and I've, I've used CoinOps 2 for some time and I wanted to add my new collections into collections but I wasn't sure how to do it so if anybody else is struggling with having the same issue here's a quick video on how, how to do it and how to get it all set up. So as an example I'm going to add in an existing Atari ST collection that I have on CoinOps 2. You can clearly see this isn't available by default in CoinOps collections. So first of all on my X drive I've got my original CoinOps 2 collections. So I've got my Atari ST folder in here already which I'm going to point uh, the new CoinOps collection uh, directory towards. This has got all the system files, um, the, the ROMs, so the games themselves, and then all the artwork that relates to the ROMs, so the, the logos, the covers, and the videos. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to create the or take a copy of the the Atari ST launcher file. So this is what links the the collection to the actual emulator. So I'll take the one that I've got on my CoinOps 2 and copy that across to CoinOps collections. So the, the, the configuration um, set up in my CoinOps2 uh, com file used a relative path, so I'm going to change that to an absolute path. So I'll, I'll take a copy of the directory of the emulator that's in my CoinOps2 directory and I'll take the full directory name and copy and paste that into the, the configuration file. next step to take is to actually create the directory for the Atari ST emulation. So uh, I'll do that now, just create the folder. Next I'm going to take the settings.conf file from my CoinOps2 directory and copy that across to my CoinOps collections. In addition, I'll take the uh, systems underscore artwork folder, copy that across, copy everything in it. Next step is to um, change the comp file. Um, so the list.path points at the uh, ROM files that are in the original CoinOps2 directory. So I'm not copying them across, I'm just going to point this to the original files. So in CoinOps 2 then to add Atari ST or any collection into the menu you'd go into the main directory and add a text file with the name of the collection but that's changed in CoinOps collection. So you need to go into these directory and edit the menu.txt files. So there's three different directories and they, they are for the different flavours or the different subsets of collections that you can have in collections. So at this point uh, the collection should now appear on the menu, so we'll give that a try. So it is there, but as you can see there's no backdrop, so we'll fix that next. So for this you'll need a, a an image well, that you want to use as the backdrop um, with the same name as your collection, so in this case Atari ST. And this will go into the All Arcade Console Balanced, All Arcade Console Lite and All Arcade Console Packed 
directories within there there's a medium artwork and a promo directory It'll, they'll go into these As you can see we've now got a backdrop so if we click into the collection um, we can see that we've got a load of games but we've got no logos we've got no videos we've got no um, backdrop we've got no cabinet so we'll now fix that so to fix it we open up our comp file in our atari st collection folder um, and it took a bit of while to work this out um, but we can add in specific media.logo, media.video and media.cover entries and point the uh, collection at the original um, in logos, videos and covers that I have for CoinOps Next 2. Uh, two of these were fairly easy, the logo and video, but the cover was not one that I've seen documented in anywhere, so hopefully this is uh, helpful for some of you struggling with this. So again, let's go back into CoinUp Collection and check our work. Nearly there, um, but the cab's still missing, so I'll show you how you can get the cabs. So for this step, we take the system.png from the system art artwork file. Um, I take it from my old collection here, and my CoinUp's next but it doesn't matter, you've got it in both directories. Um, and then you go back to the Atari ST directory and create a medium underscore artwork directory, then within that cabs, and paste the file that you've just copied. Um, but you need to rename it to default.png. If the games have any specific cabs um, in the cabs directory, they'll override this, but this will be the default for, for any games without their own cabs. So the cab's now showing, so all done, let's uh, just play a game, everything should now work, enjoy! <laughs> 